we have all learned a lot from Friday's US presidential debate. <laughs> For starters, Joe Biden, well, he is a walking corpse. And in saying that, I, I mean no disrespect to corpses. The most respected wanted it brought back. So he's in, he's willing to, as we say, rip the baby out of the womb. He's given $200 billion. That's a lot of money. I don't think there's ever been anything like it. Hundreds of billions of dollars. The secretary general. The, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump. I, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. The, the many faces of uh, Joe Biden strung out and high as a kite. The bloke didn't mm. uh, didn't even move his eyes throughout the whole 90 minutes. But what's more interesting than Joe Biden is Dr Jill Biden. Mm. Now, look, she must be the most ambitious person in America because there's no way you would allow your spouse to crash and burn like that unless you really really wanted four more years living in the White House. Only four weeks ago, Jill Biden was telling America the debate would showcase just how smart her husband was. But I think the American people deserve a debate mm -hmm. because you need to see your choices. You need to see Trump and you need to see the president and you need to see the differences. And my husband's... And you're going to see how smart he is. He's so smart. <laughs> and this is Jill Biden patting Joe on the head like a good puppy right after Friday's debate. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the <laughs> Oh, my God. That's how you talk to a toddler who's just gone potty all by himself. She did everything except give him a gold star. And to be fair, Dr Jill did help her husband prepare for the debate. All right. And when the debate finished, Trump walked straight off set by himself, but Dr Jill had to physically assist her frail 81-year-old husband to walk down the steps. James, she, she practically carried the bloke. I mean, look at this. It's so sad. But it hasn't always been sad because here's Joe and Jill in much happier times. <laughs> And here's the lady who loves being first lady a little too much, insisting her rather miserable and disorientated-looking husband must carry on. I saw in him then the same character that I see in him today. And even though he has faced unimaginable tragedies, his optimism is undaunted. His strength is unshakable. I don't think he's ever seen the woman speaking at the podium in his entire life. <laughs> judging by that clip. But look, even Jill Biden's first husband reckons she's gone too far, telling the New York Post, I just don't understand why she's so adamant about keeping him in the race since it appears that he's struggling. She's always been very driven. People say she's the one who wants to be president now. I mean, she certainly seems to be more ambitious than her husband at this point, James, given the performance that we saw. I mean, I personally felt so sorry for Joe Biden watching that. I don't think you could take much comfort from 90 minutes of torture listening to him bumble, fumble and mumble. He resembled a space cadet uh, strung out on whatever is clearly being pumped into his body just to prop him up for that 90 minutes. He completely, completely uh, failed... But I find it very disturbing that Jill Biden is still trying to push him on, that he can go until November, that he can go for another term. What planet is she living on? It's actually cruel. It is elder abuse to let this old man keep going. I've got to say, I did not feel... I, I felt sad watching the debate, but I didn't feel sorry for Joe Biden. I mean, his, his entire life's goal is to get to where he now is. And uh, he continues to do it, though he is semi-embalmed. I felt sorry for America <laughs> and uh, the free world. But the NBC are now reporting that there is a family conference being scheduled for Camp David mm. where uh, Jill, the children and the grandchildren will all meet to decide what do they do from here. Because prior to the debate, mm. an average of eight betting markets had Biden 36% chance to win the election. Immediately after the debate, it was 21% chance, mm. a 15% drop in a wow. matter of 90 minutes. That's never happened before. Yeah. So the family are going to get together and hopefully sense will prevail because it's plainly wrong. It is wrong. To it, it is, it's like elder that. abuse. It can't go on like this. It's, it's just shocking. And we will have more analysis later on in the program with our US expert uh, Brad Palumbo yeah. on this one.